massive marina fire causing a huge traffic alert today. This is all happening in the Keys. It forced deputies to close a stretch of the overseas highway for hours in both directions. And right now that fire is contained, but not before it spread to a house and a lot filled with lobster traps. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live in Marathon right now with the very latest on this marina fire and the damage it left behind. Ian? Christy, a better word would be destruction. In fact, take a look here behind me. You can see what is left of this marina absolutely destroyed by this. In fact, you can see flames still burning. They're putting water on hotspots now. And as this cleanup continues, still waiting for word on what could have caused this fire. Flames lighting up the darkness at the Vaca Key Marina in Marathon early Monday morning. Crews from the City of Marathon Fire and Monroe County Fire rushed to the scene to find several boats, a house, and dozens of lobster traps fully engulfed. When we first got here, we had a lot of difficulty just getting back to the fire because we're going through basically little pathways to try to get back to find out what was burning, how it was burning, and the extent of it. The call came in around 2.30 in the morning, and the fire, using the lobster traps as kindling, spread extremely quickly. Obviously, the lobster traps are made of uh, thin plastic, thin wood. Some of the crab traps are made out of plastic, which still burns, gives off very toxic fumes. Um, but they're surrounded with air, concrete in the bottom, so it's a perfect feeding fire. By 5.30, crews had the fire under control, and as the sun rose, they were just keeping an eye on hot spots still smoldering under the wreckage. Unfortunately, the house and four boats were completely destroyed, but firefighters were able to save about 75% of the lobster traps, and no injuries were reported. So crews here tell us that the boats that were destroyed, they were owned by commercial fishermen. And now obviously they are out of business right now because those are their offices. Those boats that are completely destroyed. We're told that the fire marshal is on the way out here to begin this investigation. As soon as we get any updates, we'll be sure to pass them along to you. We're live in Marathon, Ian Margle, Local 10 News.